which means it's time for Molly's social media tip of the week. I'm excited about this week because I actually was inspired for this tip this week. I had one planned, but I decided, I was like, you know what? I got some inspiration for this one. I'm gonna put the one I had planned off for a week. I'm gonna go with uh, the one that I was inspired. So I was reading uh, Chris Brogan's blog. I have to say it slow because I tried to say it fast earlier and I could not say it. Chris Brogan's blog. Chris Brogan's blog. Chris Brogan's blog. You try and say it three times fast. It's really hard. I was reading Chris Brogan's blog. And for those of you that don't know Chris Brogan, maybe been sleeping under a rock, uh, he's a really big uh, speaker, social media entrepreneur, blogger. You can visit him at chrisbrogan.com. And I was reading his blog on Monday. He had a great post about the seven questions that you that every business needs to ask themselves. And I know not everybody that watches these videos is necessarily a business owner or, you know, or even an entrepreneur newer but when you are using social media and the fact of the matter is, is that in 2009 and into the future we are all our own brand we are all our own business we own our image our name our logo all that all the things that are associated with us as a person especially in the social media realm, you need to treat it like a business. How do you want to represent yourself? How do you want to represent your business? Now, obviously this can be applied to any business, but I think that it's definitely something that is applicable today in the social media realm with yourself. Chris had posed these seven questions. Um, I'm gonna include a link in the sidebar um, to the post that I'm referring to. And I thought it was a great post. But then as I, as I started reading about it, I noticed that there wasn't anything in the post that talked about differentiating yourself or being unique. And I think that especially in the business world and the everything that we are in today, there's so much content out there. You know, you've got blogs, you've got people on Twitter, you've got millions of people on Facebook, you've got, you know, YouTube is probably one of the biggest search engines. Dig, I don't know if you guys use Dig at all. Dig actually gets more news hits than CNN and MSNBC online. So if you're trying to create content or if you're you're out there promoting yourself or your business, how do you differentiate yourself? How are you unique to your brand or your niche market? And so my tip this week is find that unique angle that in which you can promote yourself. For example, I love social media and I'm all about social media and that is you know, one of my big passions, but there are a gazillion other people out there who are like me and love social media and it's their passion as well. But how do I differentiate myself? One, I'm crazy. I know I am. I'm out of this world. I made, I made a video about an Aflac duck that I got. There's the Aflac duck again. But I, you know, for a long time I was trying to separate my worlds, my professional social media world and the other world that I'm passionate about, comedy. I'm an improviser and I also am dabbling in stand-up comedy and, um, and I also perform sketch comedy. So... How do I differentiate myself when, I'm when I'm myself when I'm trying to keep those two worlds separate? Finally, a literal like light bulb came on and I was like, why do I need to keep those things separate when those things make me who I am? So I decided to create the Molly Buckley and I put the media in comedian. So I'm a social media comedian. What you want about it? No, I don't do stand up bits about social media, although I should. My tip this week, is I want you to figure out how you differentiate yourself from other people. How do you keep yourself from being, you know, lost in the mix? How are you a, a big fish in a small sea versus a minnow in a sea of minnows? You know what I mean. So tell me what you, I, I want to hear your thoughts. Tell me how you, you know, are you doing anything in particular to be unique? Are you doing anything particular to, you know, differentiate yourself and separate yourself from the pack? If you will. That's my tip this week. I hope that you all are enjoying this fall season. The weather is beautiful here in North Carolina. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and an even better week and I will see you guys next week.